boys and girls, students of Buddhist Sunday school, parents, grandparents, teachers of Buddhist Sunday school and moral education. May you all be well and peaceful. Now we are going to have a presentation that has many Dharma points as well as moral lessons. It is titled, Wise Words to Heed. H-E-E-D, right? I'll explain this as I go along. Firstly, let us launch the PowerPoint for this presentation, Wise Words to Heed. So you can see the PowerPoint. Ah, that's the power slide. Wise words to heed. Wise words, I think you know the meaning. Heed, to heed means to pay attention to. To be caring about it. Right? To care about it. Lah. Or you can say to follow. Right? The things. Ah, but the best is to pay attention to it and to carry out the things lah, suggested uh, to heed, uh, to pay attention to, with care. Now you can see the pictures there, you know, all these uh, wise people that will give you good messages and lessons. And of course here also you have some clips, animated clips, right, of uh, people who are trying to give advice wise advice right so we will go on to the uh, slide now uh, let me stop the video first because you don't have to see my face now okay ah uh, this is another of the slides huh? actually it lists many words uh, which are very important virtues or moral values, right? So messages that pertain to these values are very important to heed, right? To pay attention to or to follow, right? So let us uh, look at the various things. Now here you have some important words or messages for you to pay attention to. The wisest mind has something to learn. Uh, this means that we must always learn. Uh, they say learning education is from the cradle to the grave. From the time you are born into the world until you pass away, you still have to learn, right? But there are some people who, you know, stop learning. Uh, once they come out from the universities or college and then they get the work and they only concern with making more and more money, and the mind does not expand and they no longer learn important, useful things. Uh, so remember that, right? It's a lifelong process, learning. And of course, later on, it will point out to you one of the most important things to learn. Actually, it's the Dhamma that is the most important. Now. Then the other wise thing is, do it now. Sometimes later becomes never. Now, this actually is a very important message. Some people are in the habit of postponing things. They call this procrastination. Uh, putting off to another time, another day. There is a proverb that says, procrastination is the thief of time. Now you say, I wait, I wait, I wait. And then sometimes I it's too late. Right? I think I posted a story called Mother quite some time ago where this person was so busy, you know, running his business, uh, mother's birthday also, he had no time to go back to see the mother. He kept on putting it off, you know, procrastinating, uh, right? Say later, uh, later, uh, until uh, he found out that, uh, that this little girl uh, asked him to take her to visit the mother and the mother was at the cemetery. Ah, then he realized it, uh, that never procrastinate. Do the things which are proper and should be done now. 
some people like to procrastinate their assignments, their homework, all right, or their projects. And then last moment, they get stressed. And then when they do things last moment, they tend to make more mistakes. Uh, so remember, procrastination, postponing things is the tip of time. And then the worst thing is sometimes uh, you forget already. Huh? Somebody asks you to do certain things, uh, which is good for you to help. And say, okay, yeah, sure, sure. But you keep on postponing. And then after that, you forget you never do it. That is something not good, isn't it? It reflects on you, right? Uh, so when somebody, you know, sends you something or you no, know, uh, send you a letter or whatever, uh, don't say, I'll reply later. Lah. I'll acknowledge later. Lah. And then the later becomes never. This is what I face. Lah. Very few. Huh? There are some. Very good. They always do things promptly. Acknowledge, say thank you and so on. Many others don't bother. Right? So this is a very important message. Now let's look at the next one. Now the next one. I can and I will. Ah. So if you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. Uh, so must always have the self-confidence. I can do it and I will do it. There are some people uh, who don't practice these words of advice or wisdom. You know? and sometimes, I, you know, those days I would ask students, uh, those who can come to help in the Gotong Royal or PBHP, uh, a few people will say, ah, can I, can I, can I? Right? But they never carry out. Right? Others will say, cannot, cannot, because I have uh, YouTube to watch. I'm busy. Uh, this type of no dana hat. Lah. And then there are some that say, I can and they will. They will come. Uh, these are the best type of people. Then the other message is, it doesn't matter if the glass is half empty or half full. Be grateful that you have a glass and there is something in it, isn't it? Uh, some people, you know, get certain things not satisfied, not contented. You, know? uh, you must be contented. There are so many people who are unfortunate, who can't even have the basic things. Remember, I posted the story of no shoes about this boy, right? Always complaining, not satisfied. Uh, he wants more shoes. He already has one good pair or two pairs already. Still, he wants Reebok, Adidas, Nike. Always complaining to the mother. Until uh, one day, he saw a boy without legs and still so happy, never complained. Ah, uh, Then, he got gratitude already. Uh, grateful, count the blessings. Uh, so, this is a very important message. Ah, so this is the slide that conveys good dharma. Then we come to the next thing. Ah. Firstly, ah, we look at the right hand side. The message, the life you live is the lesson you teach. If you live a righteous, wise life, then you are showing good examples to others, isn't it? So you are in a way teaching important lessons. Ah, just like Achan Cha, you know, the famous monk from Thailand. He lived a fantastic, wise and compassionate life. Until uh, he had a stroke and for 10 years he was bedridden, right? Need, he needed to be helped. But yet, he could teach from the body. <laughs> right, huh? So oh, it's quite remarkable the life you live. He never complained, or uh, of course, he got the stroke when he, he couldn't respond. Uh. But anyway, he led a fantastic life, and that was a lesson. Uh, people look up to him and living example, uh, right? model, uh, right? Uh, so you live a good life, you are a good teacher of Dharma, right? Because you give people the lessons uh, from your life. Then you will have things that money can't. Buy. People think money can buy all things. It's not true. Right? Money cannot buy the things which are very important that will give you peace and happiness of mind. If money can buy things uh, to make you happy and peaceful, why is it that there are so many famous people who committed suicide? 
uh, you know, the K-pop, Elvis Presley, uh, and then uh, Whitney Houston, right? So many lah. Why? They had all the money and the fame, but because they were not peaceful, right? You couldn't buy the peace and happiness. And among the things that will give you peace and happiness, you must have good manners. Lah. You think you, you use money and say, oh, I must be a well-mannered person. Uh, it doesn't happen. Manners must be learned, inculcated, right? put into you from young, like morality also, same. And also respect. You cannot just use money. Right? Say, ah, I have so much money, you know, you all better respect me. Huh? Uh, people, some are pura pura respect you lah, because they want the money, but actually, they don't really respect you. But if you have good morals, good manners, character, and then you have good intelligence, common sense things, you also know. And then people trust you, right? And then you are very patient, right? Uh, with so many things, you don't complain or condemn or criticize, you are patient. Uh, even in helping uh, very difficult cases, you are patient, right? Then you have a, a class. This class is not like having a title like Dato or Tun. You know? A class means you have a dignity, you know, right? You are an honorable person. You, know? you have integrity, honesty, you know? And then you show metta, no? All these things uh, you have to develop and cultivate. You cannot use money to go and buy and expect to get all these things and happiness and peace. Money serves a certain purpose. Lah. You need money to survive also, lah, isn't it? Uh, for your food, your house, education and so on. But some people think that money is God. They say, no money, no talk. To them, vitamin M is the most important. Ah, This is a mistake. As you can see, recently only I read another uh, beautiful lady, uh, the kid, I think actress from South Korea, 26 or 27 only, committed suicide also. Right? So you see, it's very tragic, you must. Uh, hit these wise words. Right, let's look at the next one. Now, this left hand side first. Right? We must always be humble. Humility. Don't be proud, arrogant, conceited, sombong. Ah. Nobody likes uh, people who are proud, isn't it? There's a proverb that says, pride goes before a fall. You are proud, one day you fall and you suffer. Humility is a very important quality. Uh, great people, uh, even Einstein was very humble. right? Uh, some of the presidents of U.S., Right? Or even Nobel Prize winners like Mother Teresa. Wow, so humble, you know, to go and tend to those slum area people, you know. Very, very, and then also very kind. Huh? Kindness very important. So you see, if you are humble and kind, wow, these are two good spiritual qualities and people will tend to like you. Opposite, if you are proud, you are hard-hearted, cruel, selfish, right? Self-centered, no, this actually generates bad karma as well as having problems with other people. The right hand side, by doing what you love, you inspire. But here, of course, you must love the properties. Uh. <laughs> you don't go and love drugs. Uh. In India, you love, like for example, helping people, right? And you love uh, reading books that can help you to improve your mind. Right? And then you love learning uh, new knowledge and so on. Then your friends see, wow, this person uh, has a great passion, you know, to do dana work and then to serve, you know. Wow, then they get inspired. They also want to follow you, right? And their hearts open up. Uh, their hearts are awakened. Uh, then you are doing something good. Because you have inspired people and led people to be like you, right? doing the things which are positive. You love doing these positive things and they are an inspiration. Right? So this is what I can explain uh, a bit. And uh, that is an uh, important thing. Huh? I think I told you already. So this is staying humble. Ah, 
This one, uh, let's look at the right hand side first. Don't give up. The beginning is always the hardest. Uh, many people give up very easily, you know, right? To solve a problem in math, but just a short while they give up with it. Never keep on trying, right? How can you be successful? Initially, it might be difficult, but you know you are diligent, struggle on, you will succeed in the end. Remember the person who invented the electric bulb, he was Thomas Edison, right? So in, initially, of course, uh, it, it was the first time, you know, so he experimented and tried, not successful, but he never gave up. Altogether, I think he tried more than maybe 600 times more. Each time, the bulb failed to light up. And then some of those, you know, people around say, oh, yeah, give up lah. And so many times, uh, you're wasting your time, you cannot succeed. But did the scientists tell them, no, each time I fail to light the bulb, I learn something. I learned that, oh, this particular set of conditions cannot get the bulb working. So I learned a lot. And the end, of course, you know, he succeeded. I don't know, we have those electric bulbs. Huh? Oh, fantastic, isn't it? Uh, so never give up. So if you never try, you never know. So some people are huh, very, very sluggish, lazy. I say, okay, you try this, huh? maybe you can succeed. No, la, I think very hard one. La. Cannot one. La. Other people, they go and try, and the end they succeed, isn't it? They don't give up. They persevere. They have patience. They have determination. Uh, these are important qualities. Uh, so that is this important thing. Ah, oh, let's look at the left hand side first. Think good thoughts, and good will find you. Right. Uh, so if you think the bad thoughts. Bad things will happen to you. There is a book called The Secret. Right? They found out that uh, if you want good things to happen to you, then you must think right, well the good things. Uh, uh, good follows if your thoughts are good. Isn't it? So uh, if you always have all those bad thoughts and so on, bad things are likely to happen. And this brings us to one point in Dharma practice, the Noble Eightfold Path, which is called Sama Vayama. Sama Vayama is actually right effort. Uh, that, there are four things. We must always watch the mind. Right? Note what is happening in the mind. If the mind is thinking of bad things, uh, ah, you must put a stop. Cast away all those bad thoughts from the mind, right? Evil thoughts, bad thoughts, unwholesome thoughts, cruel thoughts, all cast away, right? And then also watch your mind. Don't let the bad thoughts enter your mind. Huh? Uh, they can spoil you later on. Uh, so two things already, right? Then about the good thoughts, right? Now, if you already uh, have very good thoughts, uh, people have thoughts of metta, they have thoughts of kindness, they have thoughts of dana. I always maintain those things. Right? Carry out those things according to the good thoughts. Maintain them. And then, good thoughts that have not come into your mind yet, you must try to welcome them, invite them in. Uh, the example, thoughts of uh, very, very patient. Right? Thoughts of kindness, as I mentioned. Uh, thoughts of metta. And thoughts of letting go. And thoughts of uh, uh, thoughts of letting go, uh, which means you don't attach to things. So all the good thoughts, welcome them, right? So that's the important message. Then the right hand side, don't go through life, grow through life. Oh, that's very good English. Don't go through life means uh, you don't just uh, live a life, right? Wake up in the morning, go to the toilet, take breakfast, then after lace around not doing anything very constructive and then take your lunch and then go and sleep afternoon and then take the tea and then after that, uh, even too lazy to exercise and then after that, take the dinner and then watch TV and then after that, go to sleep. Uh, next day, same thing. Go through life just like this. You never grow. You never develop the mind. As in the scripture, Buddhist scripture, Dhammapada, is this, huh? The body grows like an ox, 
but the mind does not grow. Of course, he eats so many times a day, so the body grows fatter and fatter, like an ox, but the mind doesn't grow. So you be careful, we are not like you are not like that. Huh? We must, right? What do we do? We grow through life. That means as we go on in life, we develop the mind, we become wiser, we become more kind, we become more compassionate, uh, we become more loving. All the good things you are developing, and that is your true treasure. Become more wise, isn't it? Ah, so that is important message. Yeah. So now let us look at slide number nine. Let's look at the left hand side first. Nothing in life is to be feared, it is only to be understood. And this was the quotation by the famous lady scientist Mary Curie. Mary Curie, the Polish scientist, uh, he got the Nobel Prize two times, you know. One was for chemistry and the other was for physics. And she was the first to discover radium, the radioactive element. Uh, you know now, radioactive things are used in the treatment of, for example, cancer. So she was the first, you know, to experiment it. She had that courage, you know, right, to go and investigate and experiment, not to be frightened. And of course, she made fantastic discoveries. That's why she got Nobel Prize twice, right? But of course, in the end, uh, she, because she was you know, going to new areas unknown, uh, she was killed off by the radioactive rays because she used to put some of the you know, radioactive materials uh, in the, uh, the lab over coat, you know, in the pocket there. So radiation, the time, they didn't know. Uh. But if she had not done all those research, she would not have discovered like radium polonium, right? So, you know, when we understand things, uh, then we will not be so uh, we will not be so frightened. We will not be superstitious and do stupid things, uh, right? As those days, uh, people thought that when there is thunder, wow, the god there very angry, right? Ah, uh, and then uh, you know they believe in a lot of superstitious things and become very frightened. So we have to investigate and understand things, right? And this one here on the right hand side, every flower must grow through dirt. Beautiful analogy in Buddhism is the lotus. You know, the lotus flower, right? The lotus flower is the Buddhist flower. The lotus grows in the muddy area, right? But it will grow out of the mud and then bloom into a beautiful lotus flower, right? The message is this. That we go through life uh, with hardship, lots of problems and so on. Uh. But we don't give up, isn't it? We must overcome the challenges, cross the obstacles, and then one day we bloom into a fantastic person. Uh, you have heard of stories uh, from rags to riches. Uh, people who started very, very poor. When they end, uh, because... Uh, they were so hardworking, determined, very determined, and then very persistent, never gave up. They became in the M didn't S. Huh. Or you can take an example, you are quite familiar. Have you heard of Harry Potter? Ah, Harry Potter, the author, J.K. Rowling. You know, if you uh, read about her life, uh, she was so poor and had so many problems, you know, in life. Very challenging. I think the Husband also uh, went away and so on. Uh. So uh, she went into depression, also very sad and all this. Uh. But out of the mud and the dirt, the difficult things, she came up. Uh, I think you know the story. Wow, she got the ideas of the Harry Potter uh, and then wrote so many books that were made into movies and she became probably a multi-billionaire. Uh, right? Now she still writes so. Oh, this example, huh? ah, so you know this. Now we come to this one. Left hand side first. Strength. A river cuts through a rock not because of its power, but its persistence. Ah, you see, when the river flows through the rocky areas, ah, who are through the force of the river pushing through and through, ah, finally it will make a stream or it will cut through. Ah. And the 
key thing is persistent. Never give up. Motivators have found out what is that quality uh, that makes a person successful. Uh, actually, in whatever we do, uh, even Dharma practice meditation, or even your career, or your business, uh, persistence. Persistence would mean uh, never to give up. You persevere. That means you carry on with patience, determination, and diligence. You persist. Continue to go on. People who don't persist, uh, when continue, uh, give up easily, you will never be successful. Just like meditation. Some people say, ah, yeah, after two months, you still cannot get anything. Uh. I wonder what they want to get. Uh, they don't have persistence. Uh, the Buddha, you see, persisted for six years, you know, right? In order to get enlightenment, uh, struggle, you know, I think what? Uh, never give up. Great determination. That is this message here. Uh, the strength is a mental strength. A flower does not think of competing with the flower next to it. It just blooms. Uh, this is a very important point. right? You just do your best, develop your potential. You are not competing with the others, uh, the Johns, uh, the Jonas, uh, whatever, uh, and then get yourself stressed. right? You just... Try your best. It doesn't matter if you are not the best. It doesn't matter if you do not get the best. What matters is you have tried your best. Then your potential is realized, just like a flower blooming, irrespective of what the other flowers are doing. It just carries out its duty or its natural work, isn't it? Ah, so that is also an important thing. People get stressed because they want to compete with other people. I want to be number one. I have to have more money with the, than the person. I have to have more degrees. I have to have more money. And all those things uh, get stressed up. I'm not saying that you don't try. You just do your best. Right? Now let's look at the right-hand side first. You will find that it is necessary to let things go. Simply for the reason that they are heavy. Now, the Dharma message very important is to let things go. Is actually in Hua Yi, they have Fang Xia. How can it Fang Ha? Right? That means uh, to do not take the things oh, like a burden, you know. Huh? You cannot, Hokkien Hong Kong cannot kwa kui, you know. Right? Uh, you say, oh, you worry about this, worry about that, let go. It's just like, for example, if a person uh, is holding a glass of water and then uh, holding up above his head the glass of water, if he holds on and on the glass of water, after maybe 15 minutes, his hand gets tired. After half an hour, wow, very terrible. After 45 minutes, wow, they're not tahan already. Then all that he needs to do is let go. So just put the glass that contains some water on the table, rest your hand first, and then after that, if you need to, you pick it up again, isn't it? Ah, so many people they don't know that how that this is very important. They get stressed. Huh? No wonder so many people get uh, depression and so on. Stress, you see. Of course, you work, and then also there is a time for relaxation, uh, rest, right? Then the things will not be so heavy, isn't it? <laughs> ah. Now let's look at the left hand side. Even the darkest night will land, will end, and the sun will rise. Of course, you see in the world, uh, we have done this before. You all you have the eight worldly wings. Nobody is free from the eight worldly wings. Sometimes uh, you have happiness, sometimes you have sorrow or pain, sometimes you have gain, sometimes you have loss, sometimes you have praise, sometimes you have blame. Sometimes you become famous, all right? Another time you have dishonor, not famous, right? Ah, so this, uh, everybody is subjected to this. So when you have the darkest night or the dark nights, uh, which means you have the negative things happening to you, you have some losses, like maybe share market, or you are students, you don't play shares, like, or maybe you, you know, you don't get good marks, right? Even though you have tried. So you say, no, no, mind, right? Things like this happen, I try my best, next time I do it. Some cannot, you know. Right? So, 
if you know how to think along that line, then your mind will be more peaceful. Uh, things go up and down, up and down. Remember this point. Whatever it is, even good things will come to pass. Right? They will pass. Then the next thing happens again. So the person who knows this fact can be more peaceful. Right? Whatever comes, then he can embrace the thing with a very calm mind, more peaceful. And we have mentioned this before. Uh, so now, let us look at this left hand side. Be happy for this moment. This moment is your life. Actually, there's a fantastic book, but it's too difficult for most of you, right? unless you are an exceptional student in the secondary. It's called The Power of Now by Edhat Dolly. I read this book, and uh, you know, some monks have said that this author is enlightened. Very, very good book. The only reality uh, is now, this present moment. Many people get stressed up, worry, la, or feel guilty, la, regret, because the mind is not at the now. Tan Xia, Sen Chai. The mind is somewhere else. Maybe to the past, really regretting, like, yeah, you should have done that. La. You know, there's uh, the past already. Some worry about the future. Hey, I don't know whether I can pass the exam or not. Oh, yeah, whether I can get A or not. Whether I can go to university or not. Oh, yeah, whether I can get married by a certain age or not. Whether I can have a son by this age. All sorts of things are uh, going to the future, speculating. It's useless. Uh, Make your mind wait. So be happy with the now. Do all the positive things now. The future will take care. Past, already past. Right? You have made the mistakes. Resolve not to do it again. And then do all the good things. Right? Then on the right hand side, when you change the way you look at things, then what happens? Ah, the things you look at change. Ah, you see. Uh, for example, let me give you a simple example. Uh, all right? Let's say, uh, uh, one day maybe you come across some rose plants, uh, right? So your attention was on the, the thorns. Uh, uh, rose plants have thorns. Uh, and maybe you prick your finger. So uh, you have a funny attitude already towards this. Uh, yeah, useless one. Uh, uh, these uh, thorns, all these are nuisance. Uh. But then, one day some body pointed out to you, uh, you look at the beautiful rose. It's so good smell, you know, right? Appreciate it. It's in the nature of rose plants to have thorns. So you have to be careful, but appreciate the beauty of the rose. Ah, now you change your perspective, isn't it? I remember many years ago in the 19, I think it was in 1970 something, so I had some students doing certain projects. Uh. So one project uh, that was quite interesting, uh, right? About sugarcane fibers. Uh, right? You know, after eating sugarcane, people throw away. They say, ah, useless uh, this sort of thing. Right? Now, there's a particular way of looking at that thing, uh, right? But actually, certain good things can be got out of this. No. So I uh, not my students who did this project. I saw this project uh, in KL. Right, by another group of students. My students did another project. Right? So, so, you know what these students did? Uh, the KL students, uh, they took all these uh, so-called rubbish on the body once really, uh, and then uh, they transformed it into magnetic tapes you know, where you can use for recording. You know, I think you know, uh, uh, cassette. Uh, those days they had a cassette and uh, recording. You know. So, now you have a different view of the so-called rubbish of uh, Sugar cane fibers left over. So when we change things and look at the positive things, uh, things are different. Right? So that is the example I want to give you. Uh. Then let's go to the thing. Watch your thoughts for they become words. Watch your words for they become actions. Watch your actions for they become habits. Watch your habits for they become character. Watch your character, for he becomes a destiny. Actually, this uh, was said by many famous people. One of them was actually Muhammad Gandhi, but perhaps his was not so long, right? Now, the interesting thing is, uh, in Buddhism, in the Dhammapada, one of the Buddhist scriptural books, uh, 
He said, mind is the forerunner of all things. Everything all starts off with the mind. So you have to be careful. Huh? So you have to watch your mind. Let, give me, let me give you an example. Let's say if your mind uh, is filled with uh, lots of uh, anger, you know, ill will, enmity. You know. So uh, you very easily you become angry and hot temper, and then you speak out angry words, bad words, harsh words. You see? So the thoughts will lead to the terrible speech, isn't it? Then after that, uh, wow, the thoughts with anger, the words of harshness and anger, then uh, you lose your temper so easily, right? For not any good reason, maybe you uh, use your body uh, to hit somebody la, or to kick the animal la, or whatever. So it goes to action already. And you don't check this and don't control this, right? To the thoughts, uh, this becomes your habit. Your habit? very easily gets angry. Hot temper person. Then, uh, the thing is so strong, your habit has molded, your habits have molded your character. They always say, this is the same The temper is like a devil. Right? So that is terrible, isn't it? Ah, so your character is not good already. Ah, then your character, ah, oh, uh, how can they call it? Sinke, uh, huh? Your character is not good uh, with all the negative things. Uh, you generate the bad karma. So when you uh, generate the bad karma, that is your destiny. Right? You'll be heading in uh, future lives in the woeful state. So beautiful uh, right up on this. Right hand side, stay positive, work hard, make it happen. Very simple uh, words of wisdom. Uh. Don't have negative thoughts. You know, I talked to you about how to check the mind. Be diligent, work hard, and things can happen when you put in the effort, right? Uh, so, that is the thing. Then the next thing is, left hand side first, change the changeable, accept the unchangeable, and remove yourself from the unacceptable. What can be changed? You, within your means, maybe you are a professional, you change the thing so that people can become more happy and peaceful. But certain things cannot change. The climate like that already, right? So until this stage, you cannot change. The scientists don't know. So you feel miserable and complain, no use. Right? So you have to accept peacefully. That's the way things are. That's nature, right? So you accept peacefully. What you can change, you change. So why worry? What you cannot change, accept it. So why worry? And then don't associate uh, with fools. Uh, uh, something that is unacceptable, uh, maybe, you know, uh, vices, uh, vices mean the bad things, uh, right? Get away from this thing. That's a good advice. Right hand side. What is right is not always popular. What is popular is not always right. And this Albert Einstein, the famous scientist, said it, you know. You know, at one stage, uh, there was the popular belief. Uh, uh, I think a uh, majority of the people believe that the earth was flat, was flat. You know, the flat earth theory, you know. So, very popular now. Is it right? We know it's not right. It's not true. Right? And then, what is popular is not always right, the time say. Right? What is right is not always popular. So, for example, when Einstein first discovered his laws, uh, for example, the laws of relativity, uh, not popular because very few people could understand it. Right? So, people thought that it was not true. But now, it's proven that it's true. Right? So the minority, uh, they have thought things out. Uh, so sometimes uh, they come up with the right or truthful things. Does not mean that always the majority is right. So you have to investigate and think things out clearly. Uh. That is an important point. So now let us look at the, the next thing. Uh, right hand side. Sometimes you have to accept things the way they are and move on. Right? Uh, some people cannot. Like for example, uh, meditators, right? So you are meditating. Then outside, uh, the dog is barking, barking maybe for certain reasons, right? So this person, uh, he cannot accept it. Then he's going to complain and curse the dog, you know. Uh, that the, the people there, a few people will curse the dog. You know. Why? Because they cannot accept the things the way they are. It's the nature of dogs to bark. You don't expect the dogs to Give a soft purring meow, meow. Oh, we may bark very loudly, isn't it? So 
doctor cannot accept. Uh, so, look out, lah. Isn't it? You want it to be like that, but that's not the way things are. I have no time to give you many other examples. Uh, then here you have eight things to give up. Doubting yourself. No self-confidence. Ayah, I don't know I can do it or not. Ayah, I don't know I can be successful or not. Ayah, I don't know whether I can meditate or not. All this, no doubting yourself. The worst thing is to declare, I cannot meditate or not. I cannot do this. I must study or not. All negative things. Uh, that's negative thinking. Uh. And then some, uh, they are not going to do those things uh, because they are afraid to fail. Uh, fear of failure. You know, some body once said, a great motivator, failure is not failure. Failure is failure to get up after you have fallen. So if you have fear of failure, you are going the wrong way. Think it is a challenge. Fail, try again. Not just as a person learning a to ride a bicycle, right? He doesn't have the fear of failing or falling. Lah. So he rides the bicycle, he falls, and then he gets up, right? And then falls again, he rides the bike, until one day, so naturally, he can uh, ride on the bicycle so smoothly, balanced, right? So cast away the fear of failure. And then some people are like to criticize themselves and criticize others. They say, I'm useless, right? I've done this thing wrong already. Always criticizing themselves, very low self-esteem. And the worst thing is all criticize others. Some criticize others and praise themselves. Uh, and that's the way worse. Uh, because uh, they can find the faults of other people, but they cannot see their own fault. That is also bad. Then give up negative self-talk, right? Uh, talk negative things, uh, right? Uh, about when uh, you're coming from yourself, uh, the inner self, uh, talk all the negative things. Uh, that is not good. And then, uh, just now we mentioned the procrastination, right? Postponing things. And then you have fear of success. You may wonder what is this? Some people, uh, they project, you know, well, I say next time, uh, if I'm uh, successful, they, uh, uh, maybe people can come and kidnap me, you know. And then uh, people are. Uh, I uh, can uh, become en envious of me, jealous of me, you know, so like that. Wow, start thinking, 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 and then they never do anything. Right? <laughs> Fear of success, huh? right? So, that's also not good. Uh, proper success, like being successful in the Dharma, being successful to earn a good living, right? livelihood, that is okay. Being success uh, in your study, that is okay. And then, give up trying to please everybody. You can't please all people all the time, isn't it? Huh? Sometimes uh, you find uh, whatever you do, uh, actually you cannot please all. Just do the right things according to your Dharma teachings. And if uh, certain people cannot accept it, well, they can't be helped. Imagine even Buddha, enlightened one, uh, still uh, Devadatta, his cousin, uh, the monk, uh, wanted to kill him, you know. Attempted to kill him uh, two, three times, you know. Uh, so, just do not be afraid, right? To carry out the thing you think can please everybody, you know, right? Uh, then now we see that uh, uh, the left hand side, the only person you should try to be better than is the person you were yesterday. You think uh, your life, uh, you aim to become better than anybody else. Uh, you know? That will give you stress. Just Try to improve yourself so that uh, compared to the time you uh, came into the world to the time that you leave the world, uh, there's a difference. You leave the world now a much better person. You have learned so much and your mind has developed. You have grown in compassion and wisdom compared to your early days. Uh, that is the important thing. Well, why you even compare uh, with uh, Donald Trump? <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, so, that is the right hand side. The pessimist complains about the wind. There's a wind, he starts complaining. Uh, the optimist, uh, just look at the wind, now my la. Uh, it will change one. Uh. So, uh, he's on the boat with the sail, right? He's optimistic, eh? the wind will go off. Uh. So, he doesn't do anything. So, the ship uh, might get into problems and sink, you know, because the wind uh, can be very strong. But the person who is realistic, you know, realist, uh, so he goes to adjust the sail of the ship uh, so that the ship can sail smoothly. Ah, Buddhism is the third one. Uh, 
uh, uh, being realistic uh, to find out the cause of dukkha, to end dukkha. Uh, so that is this thing here. Uh, now we come to the end already, it's almost 45 minutes. Now here you see the, the last slide here. Uh, and in the last slide, you have this quotation, which actually comes from a Chinese proverb. And the Chinese proverb says, be not afraid of grow, growing slow, right? but afraid of only standing still. Oh. That means, uh, if you are going slow or growing slow, at least you are taking the step, isn't it? Rather than uh, doing nothing. As Lao Tzu says, uh, every great achievement or success uh, begins with the first step. So you start, you don't need to start, don't wait and say, yeah, you cannot succeed, right? So you never move. Uh, so very important to start right now. If you have not started, for example, to learn something or to learn the Dharma or to practice meditation or to practice uh, uh, Metta Bhavana or to practice uh, Dana arms, uh, uh, giving to the arms uh, around monks. So many things lah. Do not be afraid. Huh? It's much better than standing still doing nothing. Now, this applies for all areas. Huh? As a student, in the family, or maybe uh, later on uh, when you go to university, in your career, in your Dharma practice. Right? Start and do it positively. Huh? Right? So we come to the end. So I hope that you have learned from this presentation that is titled Wise Words to Pay Attention to or to Heed, right? And uh, we thank you all students and also parents, grandparents and teachers who have taken time and uh, effort uh, to follow this presentation uh, and to reflect on some of the Dharma points. So to conclude, we say Sadhu three times, right? Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. May all be well and peaceful.